Leo, welcome back to the channel. It's me, Antonio, here with another tarot card reading for you guys today using the Hoodoo Tarot deck today. Okay, we have some birds delivering them, uh, some additional messages uh, here today. The shamanism is kicking in. Uh, so, let's see what energies are currently surrounding you, what's coming towards you for the Leo Collective today. Hopefully, you're inspired to um, do the things that you're inspired to do. <laughs> All right, uh, let's see. This is actually the second time I'm doing your reading. So, let's see what's grounding you this time. We have the grandchildren here, Aquarius Major Arcana, the star, this is hope, history and future, the past. This is bringing forth the water bearer who is uh, bringing the life, bringing the knowledge, the wisdom to the collective here. Could even be some sort of uh, a star or a celebrity moment that's coming towards you, so a form of wish fulfillment. We have Railroad Bill traveling towards you as well. This is uh, Cancer Major Arcana, the Chariot. Confidence is at an all-time high. Willpower is at an all-time high. But definitely something traveling towards you. Could be some form of a spotlight. Could even be some a, a child here. Six of Knives. Traveling away from difficult situations. Movement of some sorts. Hmm. I'm also getting uh, several social media accounts here from the Six of Knives. We're getting Paw. Okay. Haven't seen Paw in a while. Now, Paw symbolizes the moon card, Major Arcana. Typically, the moon would be associated with the feminine, but in the Hoodoo Tarot, in African spirituality, the moon is associated with masculine energy. Paw. Some of the greatest ma Masonic orders were... Um, coming from ancient African spirituality, black men, the original cowboys, the original outlaws and bad boys of, uh, of society, of nature, of the world. Uh, but that's esoteric information. That's hidden of uh, the hidden occultism or meaning behind things. A father's love, you rarely get to see it, but when you do, it's, off, it's often magical. That's what I'm getting from Pa. We have Ace of Sticks. Hmm. Could be journeying into fatherhood. So this could be sex coming towards you. This could also be a transformational period. Again, uh, becoming a father. It's a lot of creativity, a lot of passion. We do know that uh, the sacral chakra is all about creativity and passion, but it also has to do with sex. What's one of the greatest uh, creations uh, of the world? That is people, that is children, that is kids here. Even with children showing up here um, in the star card, which which is grounding you, so definitely, yeah, it's something about children here. You could be you could be some form of an art teacher. Um, could be some form of a hmm, some form of a VIP. I mean, children are looking are looking up to you. The crazy part about children is they get so used to families. They often look outside of their household, i.e. celebrities and that sort of thing, to get inspired by. So this could be you taking on an air of responsibility against a type of art teacher, music teacher, or whatever it is that you're teaching at this time or you're creating with the Ace of Sticks uh, to generate abundance for those that's going to come after you here. We have Son of Baskets, yeah. We have the youth. This is Page of Cups. This is people looking at you as some sort of a muse. This is amateur love here. So you could be dealing with, again, amateur artists, amateur songwriters, dancers, singers. You could be um, a school for gifted youngsters is what I'm getting. That's the X-Men vibe. We're getting father of baskets. Yeah, so more baskets coming in here. An empath, an intuitive, someone very loving, very casual individual, a very soft-spoken individual here, a very... Um, a relaxed uh, aura coming from this individual here also someone that's able to calm the collective here when we think about school and we think about teachers and we think about unruly children this is someone that's bringing an air of calm and relaxing energy to the children hmm. right on top of railroad bill which would be cancer father of baskets so indeed you could be dealing with a cancer again this is a lot of nurturing energy here paul showing up 
we have Mother of Knives. So this is the Queen of Swords. We have Libra coming in here. So this is learning. This is researching. This is te this is a teacher. This is uh, actually also a, a second opinion. So people could be getting a second opinion uh, from you on how to create a course. Or people could be coming towards you to learn um, emotional intelligence. Father of baskets and a mother of knives. Yeah. Could be dealing with some form of a therapist, an image consultant. Could be some form of an art teacher. Seven of sticks. Boundaries here. Spiritual boundaries and physical boundaries. Standing your ground here. Teaching people about law. Mother of Knives, which would be Libra, dealing in law and relationships. Yeah. Paul is teaching someone about uh, boundaries, teaching someone about spirituality. We also have the big house, Judgment, here. Hmm. With Mother of Knives coming out, which symbolizes Libra, this, has, this may have to do with... Um, court systems this could have something to do with jail or prison here I'm not sure what the message here is it's sort of skewed could be someone just coming out of a lax situation or just coming out of an imprisonment here or this could be someone being held back maybe someone social media is being blocked yeah their creativity big house coming out right under the ace of uh, wands this could be, um, what do you call it, writer's block or something like that. Or again, someone coming out of a negative situation here. Telling children, uh, this is like, I'm getting uh, scared straight. Uh, getting children to realize that they have their whole lives ahead of them and they, need, they shouldn't waste time, energy, and efforts on doing the negative things. Again, uh, something that I always say, people are so interested and fascinated at getting it out of the mud or doing negative things like scamming. But we have so many op other opportunities in the world to do things right. You don't want to build a something on a, a infertile or unstable foundation. You get a big house. It's going to crumble at some point. That's the tower card. But we have, yeah, releasing burdens here. Ten of sticks. A long journey. This could be some form of a gym regimen. Or this could be someone repeatedly beating someone over the head with the concept of... Um, Valuing spirituality, value, um, valuing their blessings here, valuing friendships and families and, and things like that. This could be networking here. But that's what I have for you today, Leo. Major Arcana, the big house. We also have Railroad Bill coming in here with the chariot. Could be dealing with a cancer. We also have Moon, Paw, more cancer energy here. Esoteric information here. Knowledge, wisdom, secrets. So that's what I have for you today, uh, Leo. Make sure you like, share, subscribe, add value to the channel. Catch you guys on the next one. Peace.